Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, we'll be discussing a recent update regarding the the much maligned former beloved Activision Blizzard regarding the ongoing transition when Microsoft bought the company. But before they bought the company, there were some trepidation in terms of uh, is this a good buy for Microsoft and then you know the 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 serious allegations uh toxic work like culture uh from employees and then you have also the issue regarding you know the 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 the, the hot topic of microtransactions that makes uh the the company a, a boatload of money tens of millions hundred million even billions of dollars which is obviously uh, very appealing to to Microsoft, which is why they're trying to acquire the company for such games as Microsoft at uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, World of Warcraft, <laughs> uh, oh, the, the the game of Call of Duty. You also have uh, Overwatch, Diablo, uh, just to name a few of the the games that they have uh, under their banner. Uh, obviously, for for Microsoft, despite the the, the issues that's being discussed. Uh, their main issue is the monopoly of the gaming industry. So they're willing to take the hit in terms of the PR nightmare here. But if they're able to acquire uh, a big uh, gaming publisher such as Activision Blizzard, it is a coup because obviously they're competing with the likes of Sony, uh, so Sony, and uh, obviously the, the 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 business model that Sony is using is you know buying purchasing games, which makes them a lot of money. In the case of Microsoft, they're now offering uh, Microsoft uh, Game Pass to, to 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 entice you to pay a subscription fee and play the the games uh, to your heart's content, so to speak. Here, but anyway, go, going back to our main article here uh, regarding but uh, former CEO of Activision Blizzard's Bobby Kotick has already resigned. Uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, it depends on perspective, because uh, a, a lot of people has been vying for for the head of Mr. Barbicotic because of the tumultuous uh, uh, situation that's been brewing this past few years. Now, obviously, he was heralded for being able to to merge two big companies such as Activision and Blizzard, and to where they are today. Now the 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 leaving of uh, Bobby Kotick here is it necessarily a lose for him? Not necessarily here. So we'll take a closer look in the article here. So after thirty years of working for the company, obviously a lot of people are excited for him to go. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, will, will it hurt the company's reputation and its performance uh, moving forward? Maybe not. And maybe it's a damage control issue so that uh, they can have a fresh start once uh, uh, Microsoft has actually uh, acquired fully uh, under the umbrella of Microsoft uh, company. Anyway, reading further. So Microsoft buying uh, uh, the company for a tidy sum of $69 billion dollars. Uh, meaning they they believe that you know it's that word because of the money it generates uh the games uh, how popular the games are people are willing to to play despite the microtransaction issues which are very vehemently against uh not that i play any of their games that they that's very popular whether it's call of duty I think I, the last i played the call of duty version was modern warfare 2 i think so that was pretty long ago uh, I haven't played any of the Diablo games, even the Overwatch. I'm not into that type of game, but obviously a lot of people are into those types of games, which made them, you know, a very lucrative here. And the fact that they're able to publish those games in multiple platforms, now that's being acquired solely by Microsoft, will be uh, uh, the sole publisher or, or platform that, you know, obviously people are going to flock on. Uh, to, to be able to play their games here. Anyway, uh, as mentioned here, uh, according to a report, uh, it's a massive change for the video game industry. Uh, even though he's leaving here, he's not going to be uh, on the losing end. Despite despite a, a lawsuit, lawsuit from the state of California alleging a frat boy culture 
rife with pay disparity and sexual harassment which could have derailed the the, the company's uh, performance uh, in the eyes of the stockholders and even the gamers community at, at that uh, and also there was issue of being sued by shareholders and pressured by the state treasurer over its secrecy and responses regarding California's uh, lawsuit here, which all led to the employees walk out and calls for a cottage resignation. Well, that that didn't, didn't happen. Now, will this affect uh, negatively on the bottom line on Mr. Bobby Kotick here? Not to say the least. Uh, you'll be surprised. Uh, he is technically rewarded for uh, doing a great job for for steering the ship despite the turbulence that he has uh, encountered here. So uh, it mentions here that while the CEO of Activision, uh, uh, termination is without cause or termination by employee for good reason following a change of control, guarantees him nearly $300 million here. So meaning regardless of how you perceive his managing styles has made Activision a lot of money for, for the company and for its shareholders, which obviously piqued the interest of Microsoft. And despite him being sort of being scapegoated is what how I perceived it so that they can start a fresh, uh, start a new with the new company uh, uh, being helmed by someone else uh, under the umbrella of Microsoft. He's still getting a tidy sum of $300 million, which is not, not pretty bad here. So the... the <laughs> The, 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 the acquisition for Microsoft will obviously uh, favor them in the long run. Uh, question is, what will Sony do in terms of uh, providing competition here, which obviously is uh, a good thing for, for the gamers alike to make it competitive, provide better games. But uh, if there's monopoly or duopoly in the gaming industry, they keep on, you know, they can turn, on, turn, turn out games that are uh, uh, of different, qualities of products and we've seen a lot of it so obviously it's up to the the gamers to to decide whether the game is worth your money and if if we want to dissuade companies such as activision you know using devious tactics to generate uh, additional revenue you know we we stop buying their games they will stop doing those uh, uh transactions uh, as a whole but you know until that changes and Activision will just move along, keep on churning more games, more Call of Duty games. I don't know what iteration they are right now here. But anyway, what do you think regards to the situation with uh, Activision Blizzard here? Do you agree with their strategy? Uh, what's the implication here in the gaming industry as a whole? Leave your comments down below. Anyway, that's it for this week. Come back again on Wednesday for more business update. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.